Drag rising wonderful souls and welcome to Bronwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. It's always good to have new faces here. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back soul family. Good to have you. Let me just find somewhere to put this smoky, smoky Paolo Santo. Let me bring it over actually so we can have some burning as we go through the reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Please know that my readings are for entertainment purposes only. Anything that comes up in the areas of law, of, um, why did I hear marriage? Hmm. Law, marriage, maybe that's what we're going to be reading about. Um, anything to do with mental health, physical health um, or finances please make sure that you are seeking out advice from those who are qualified in those areas. Please do not take the advice of any kind of tarot reader, spiritualist, or anything like that over that of someone who's qualified in that area, okay? Know that my readings are also just confirmation um, of what you already intuitively know. So if anything comes up and you're like, this is news to me, or it's worrying, or it's confusing, then that part's not for you, and that's okay. You don't have to claim the whole reading. Um, because I do sometimes see in the comments section people go, well, this isn't mine. This did not happen. That's because it's a collective, darling. Okay. A personal reading will be a lot more direct and accurate to your own needs. So please, again, do not make the story fit if it doesn't. Okay. If it doesn't. Right. Let me just wiggle that around everywhere. Oh, cedar wood is so good. This is cedar wood. What is this? Cinnamon with earthy patchouli and cedar wood, and it's called Amarita. I absolutely love this brand. Like, it almost makes me want to eat it. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with marriage, because that's the first thing that came up. So we can have a look. We'll have a look-see. What I also want to do is I'm going to be ringing my lady bell. If you have any type of a sound sensitivity anything whatsoever please turn down your listening device now and i'll be ringing it okay now i'm really over warm so let's see what wants to come out know that if i say he she masculine or feminine i'm just picking up on energies it's up to you whether you assign a gender or not you don't have to you can swap them around if it actually does fit your your um story but remember again don't make it fit if it doesn't you don't need to okay so let's have a look why do i want to go over here the bottom ones okay and look at that right at the bottom i need to get some new cards man these ones are falling to pieces but it says seduction attraction flirting dating hooking up temptation third party interference i'm gonna put that one over there okay well, there you go. So there's something going on in a marriage with third party interference. Let's see. So spirit, what do we need to know today? Oh, well, there's some sort of, I had a marital affair, something happening in a, a married home. What's happening in this home? What is happening in this home? What do we need to know? Okay, so someone here. It's time to be brave, but it's in reverse and you've got sweet memories. Someone here is, um, with it being in reverse though, it's time to be brave. Somebody's hiding from negative memories. A wonderful idea and a ha moment. Now, with this being about um, a marriage, and it seems to be like this third party interference with this flirting, dating, hooking up attraction, someone thought it was a good idea in the past, um, and they're now regretting it, or they're regretting something, some sort of collaboration I heard. There's a wonderful idea there now, realizing whatever it was that they were trying to cook up earlier, it wasn't a good idea. It wasn't a good idea to try and hook up or to try and tempt someone and it's time to be brave and it's upside down this person's scared of something what are they frightened of retaliation i heard or they're they're, they're not liking whatever result has come from an action that they took 
because you've got sweet memories in reverse. You've also got stifled, bored, and stuck, and it's in reverse. So, and then you've got clear, a clear solution upside down. So I don't know if they were trying to um, tempt someone into a third party. They were trying to flirt. They wanted to date or they wanted to hook up with someone outside of their marriage. And it didn't go the way they thought it would. They tried to tempt someone and this person either rejected it or someone was called out in some way. Mm. Someone was called out in some way. I don't know if this person's feeling embarrassed or they're feeling rejected. But they don't really know what to do. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to change the results or change what's happening. I'm going to put these out as well. Yeah, because someone with a stifled board and stuck, this would be, um, if this tempting off or whatever this temptation is with hooking up with someone so that maybe they wanted you or someone in the collective to be a third party or be their mistress or their mister or their he, she, they, and it was rejected. This person is kind of, um, maybe they're embarrassed, especially if it's time to be brave and it's in reverse. So this person's kind of sticking their head in the sand about they're in denial. They work very hard or maybe they feel like Especially with that a wonderful idea, a aha moment. It's giving me... The, I don't know if they've been working on this since like October or since the start of autumn. But you turn something down. It would have bound something to you or to someone in the collective if you had taken it. And you didn't. You didn't take it. Yeah, because it's got stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. There was supposed to be, I don't know if, I don't know if this person who's in a marriage was planning some sort of shocking attack. Or if they now feel stabbed in the back because, they feel stabbed in the back because they thought you wanted them or they thought that you were an easy target. With that deception there and it looks like the player got played. Okay, because I keep getting drawn into this stifle board and stuck card mainly out of all three here so you 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 weren't trapped or you weren't tempted or they weren't able to bind something to you if you had become this third party or if they had been able to get you to flirt with them or there's something here about attraction spells attraction pills attraction something glamour spells and it didn't work i had returned to sender none of the stuff they do ever works i don't know why they keep doing it should i take this one no twin flames has come out but it's on its side so I don't know if this person was masking themselves as being yours. Yeah, look, surrender to the situation. Surrender. They wanted you to surrender to some sort of situation. Maybe they were trying to... Um, there's some sort of seduction they wanted to do. Manipulation into getting someone in the collective to think that, that they were their twin flame. That they were the yin to their yang. They were zen. They were balanced. They were the union and duality and coupling that you were looking for and that you would complement each other. Okay, but what's underneath this is the chaser. They were actually the chaser in a codependent relationship and they have a fear of abandonment um, issues. And this person literally feels stabbed in the back because either they've been outed for this deception or whoever they are with, I feel like whoever they're with found out and is now separated from them or they separated from whoever they were with because they actually don't want now just a third party. They want to be with somebody in the collective and they've been rejected. There's some really weird messed up energy coming through. But they're chasing. They're chasing after someone who doesn't want them. And they were trying to trick someone into thinking that they were the twin flame, that they were this higher level soulmate. That's why they're sticking their head in the sand. That's why they don't want, you know, it's a time to be brave and it's in reverse. A, a wonderful idea and a hard moment in reverse. They're thinking they were trying to trick someone here. They're not tricking themselves. They seriously. I heard the word, sorry, that was autumn and it's in reverse. So they had something, they had, they had to get this done by autumn. Why by autumn? But it's in reverse, it didn't work. I heard the word, what a fussy. I have not heard that word in about 20 years. It is um slang. I think it's like Caribbean slang that kind of um 
kind of morphed itself into North London slang. From when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, what a fussy, what a pe you know, what a bussy, in other words. What an idiot. That's the energy that's coming through. Someone's ancestor here is funny. What a fussy. Oh my gosh. This person thought that they could play you. They thought they could play someone in the collective and they played themselves. And it looks like they've played themselves out of whatever relationship they were in. Okay. 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 So I'm going to be putting Twin Flame in reverse. That's going to go down in reverse. Okay. Oh, dearie, dearie. And they have no clear solution. They have no clear solution of how they, they're going to get out of this. And they have no clear solution of how you or whoever this is in the collective was able to get away from this stifled, bored and stuck energy in the first place. How were you able to do that? But I look on here, yeah, and it says Violet Duchess. Somebody is working with the um, Violet Flame. And I had cleared your energy. And for those of you who don't work with the Violet Flame, something cleared your energy for you. Oh my, and I had praise Jesus. Maybe it was Jesus that cleared your energy. Surrender to the situation. This person's having to surrender to the, the situation that they're in. No. You are, I heard you are no match for them. So this person's realising. Why did they think this would work? And what did they think they were going to get from it? Because I hear you've got, it's time for a treat. So they thought they were going to get some sort of treat. They thought they were going to get something. So this was all about like love bombing or love scamming, breaking dawn. Yeah, they're coming to this realisation. They're coming to this realisation. Count your blessings. They should have count their blessings. And now that it's upside down, they've got no blessings left. Oh me, oh my. Yeah, time for a change to learn something new, to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. So this person may have been locked out of their phone or they've been locked out of, they've been ghosted or blocked in some way. They can't watch you anymore, I heard. They can't watch you guidance, but where will it lead you? And it was in reverse. This person didn't want to listen to no one. They did, it says calm amidst the chaos. I don't know if they tried sending something. They didn't want to listen to anyone when it came to this. I don't know if they got advice from someone. That was a lot hotter than I expected it to be. Huh. Oh my gosh. This person wanted to ask, they wanted to propose engagement engagement partnership commitment eternity completion and union this person honestly wanted to that's why they were doing that that's why they were doing that they wanted someone here in the collective to be a third party so they could then separate from whoever they were with to then get into engagement with or, or propose to someone here but if they're doing like love spells or love bombing or love enchantment or whatever it was to have you as putty in their hand so they could do that really oh my gosh but look you've got here lightning sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany upheaval and transformation you already knew this was coming or your guides already knew this was coming okay and they were like not today satan not happening and you've got here yeah look true love has a habit of coming back and it's upside down it is upside down because this person isn't true love they're not true love what's on the back here I am making plans for us, yeah? And this is right over a clear solution in reverse. So this person does not know what to do now. I don't know if they had it. Why did they have a time frame in which to do this, though? Our prayers and visualizations are manifesting. They're literally getting what they've sent out, okay? Because what I take from this is whoever it is that you're manifesting in is coming towards you, but they weren't manifesting you into their life they were trying to control how you would then be manipulated to go to them and that's different okay so whatever energy they were using i heard whatever every they were using energy wise is showing up in their life now this is why this person is feeling like they're in heartbreak because this prayer they're now praying and these visualizations they are manifesting but not how they expected because this sweet memory is in reverse this person is getting back, I heard fourfold or tenfold, what they were sending out. Because this is all to do with con control and, I want to say communication, but domination. Domination and control. Well, let me pop that one down there then. Well, well, well. Why did they have until October? I heard October. 
they had until the end of um what comes around they had until a specific time in autumn where you miss that that you miss that and you've got to remember that my readings are timeless so i can be picking up on past present future energy but they had up until um it was most probably winter solstice then to do something before you got some sort of karma good karma time for a change before something changed for you to learn something new to use technology and gadgets with wisdom before an offer came in for you maybe what was it this one no which one this one okay let's find out Hearth row, bright stave, choice, decision making, hearth, the, the game between desire and destiny, the dance of life brings things to fruition, initiation, sensual intercourse, rebirth, mystery, fertility, laughter, music, secret, divination and chance. So there was something that they were, it was almost like um, they were playing a game of chance or they, they, they bid on something or they bet on something or something to do with like gambling and games of chance. I heard black cat oil. So they may have done some sort of spell or something with black cat oil. Do they know that there's some sort of, something's about to change for someone in the collective and they wanted to have, whether that is you, the person you're thinking of or whoever it is, I heard someone's divine counterpart. It could have been to try and have them wrap around their little finger. There's some sort of SEX magic or sensual magic or it's sensey, it's alluring. I keep hearing it's a siren's call. They were trying to get this person manipulated so that it's almost like being under a love spell. It is, it's love binding. But Perthro is not so much love. Perthro is more sexy. Okay, the, ah, the game between desire and destiny. Look at this, the dance of life brings things to fruition. So, and it got secret on here in divination, chance. You've got those dice on there. Somebody here knew. I don't know who this person is, that they're now gutted. They didn't get it. They didn't work. It didn't work. You aren't putty in their fingers. They thought that they would be able to... Um, trick you i heard into loving them or into marrying them so whatever it is that comes towards you and i heard a windfall would be half rightly theirs and oh my gosh and i opened this card and what popped out was that there jealousy and you got critic on here picking fault in all is it constructive toxic energy jealousy whoever this person is this person is jealous that's crazy this person is jealous of your light or they're jealous of what you're manifesting. Whatever it is that you've been praying for and visualizing is manifesting in your life in a positive way. Get aligned is here. And look, I say that, right? Right. Fey who? Money, 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 money. And you got get aligned. Take some time to focus on these areas. However, it was this way. It's because you are aligned. Okay, and it's not saying, oh my gosh, you're so aligned, you don't have to do any more healing, you are there, you are an ascendant master, no, but you've been working on yourself, or someone here has been working on themselves, someone may work with Freya, the Nordic god, um, you have Bright Stave, Abundance, um, Bright Stave for Fehu, which is the runic, the Nordic runic rune, what's wrong with my words today? Rooney Rune, um, Bright Stave, Abundance, Wealth, Fertility, Spiritual Riches, Money, Success. So someone's got all of this coming to them. And whoever this energy is that was trying to, you know, <laughs> I heard the song, um, and it's from the 90s. I wanna six you up, all right. I don't know the rest of it. I just remember singing that when I was about nine and not understanding what it meant, but just thought it was a tune. Oh my gosh, all of these songs are kind of like flowing back to me. But that song's come through. So this person, there's something about their physicality and how they bind to other people through the act of coitus. 
and this person was not able to do something they weren't able to bind you or manipulate you because you're too aligned because this is the thing as well this person i feel like for this person they have a very bruised ego they are used to getting what they want they're used to getting their you know their women or their men or their he the he he she they very easily they're very they used to oh, what's the word see they're they're losing their words i'm losing my words as i'm speaking they're speechless they cannot believe that this didn't work but they're now seeing themselves as going how could i be so stupid if this person is so aligned so aligned and working on themselves and self-aware and emotionally aware and so on and so forth that they're getting all of these things that are aligning in that are good karma for them then why would they be so unaligned that this would work this person was their ego so big it's so flipping big it can't fit through the door and their ego has been it's not been bruised it's been battered battered because they're now realizing how is it that i am doing this stupidness that works on every other tom dick and harry sally jane or whoever because they're insecure because they haven't healed because you know they may still be asleep they may still be plugged into the matrix but this person i've just realized this person is an empress or an emperor they're a high priest or high priestess of course it's not going to work now what's this shocking attack tell me more about this shocking attack what's the shocking attack it was to someone's health and fitness Look, health and fitness has come out and it was on its side but i'm picking them up this way you have health and fitness focus on that goal and then defeat lost the battle not the war don't give up just yet so this person's not giving up they're not giving up they just don't know how to go forward they don't know how to make plans so right now they're not making plans because they really are stuck they're like how how do i get this person to even find me attractive if my glamour spells don't work they're defeated, okay? They've lost the battle, not the war, and they're not giving up, so they're going to try again. Oh, dear. Or they may have tried doing something to someone's health, and you've also got the second house coming out in reverse, going broke, debts, fraud, tight-fisted, illegal transactions, losing your job, embezzlement, uh, low moral compass, stealing other people's possessions, blocked from the law of abundance. You can see why this person was trying to come in because they are blocked from the law of abundance, drawing in low dense energy and entities, unreliable, flippant, lazy, repossession of home and car bankruptcy. So this person is going broke. This person is going, maybe that's the reason why they feel so attacked because whoever they're with may have rinsed their money taken their money but their second house is mashed up it literally is so affected from what they've been doing and this health and fitness focus on that goal someone here needs to be focusing on their health okay and it doesn't mean that you have to go at it at the gym like arnold schwarzenegger back in the 80s when he was you know pumping iron you don't need to do that it's finding what works for you because for someone here it literally could be going and having a full mot and making sure that your um your liver's working as it's supposed to or that you've got the right amount of iron whatever that may be and working from the bottom and then working the way up someone here it's to do with their teeth or someone needs to stop smoking i heard someone needs to stop smoking and i keep getting shown someone's teeth like they may want to bleach their teeth and i heard not yet you need to go and have like your gums checked or something with like go to the dentist first and make sure that the enamel's strong enough before bleaching your teeth. Random, random message there. But you have got here health and fitness, your sixth house and focus on that goal. So right now, someone's being told to really I heard sleep more. Someone needs to sleep more. Pastoral or someone may be encouraged to go to church. Or this may be somebody who, what this may be a church goer who is feeling defeated. They've lost the battle but not the war and they're not giving up just yet. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. Because you've got the law of abundance working in your favour in reverse. So this person really has messed up their finances. They've really messed up their second house with their income as well because it's money and work. It's the ball. And how 
look at that. We have Fehu over here with the bull in the upright, and then we have the bull over there in reverse. This person is I had strapped for cash. They are strapped for cash. And it's do you know what I saw when I was doing um a meditation earlier? I saw three people kneeling around um like a tray but i saw three different trays so i don't know if this is at three different times but they were kneeling around this tray and each tray was a different shape so at first i was shown like a round tray and when i say tray i mean kind of like you know when grandma wants to eat dinner and watch television so you bring dinner in on a little tray and it's it's a small tray she can put on her laps that's what i'm talking about and it was wooden though. It was specifically wooden. I don't know if it was oak or pine or whatever. I digress. But it was round and it had like a, the tray had like a, um, a bit of a wall on it. So that, I don't know how to explain it. If that is the tray, if that's the tray, it had a bit that went up like this on the side. So it had, so it had like a side that went all the way round. And in the middle of it was a a, a white candle in one of those glass jar things but the same size as the candle and inscribed into the um the tray was a um star i don't know if it was a pentagram or if it was a star and it was on all of the trays so as i was meditating i saw this candle in the middle that was halfway down in this glass jar and it just went out and something happened to either the glass or the tray and everyone that was sitting around or they were kneeling around or had their their legs crossed they were all really shocked or concerned like the tray it wasn't supposed to go out and then i was shown the same people sitting around but it was then like a triangle tray with the same carvings with the same this i had a mirrored image with the same jar with the same candle and I saw the candle going out and something happened to the tray and the last shape was like a diamond tray and the diamond tray had the same thing on it had the same inscribings the same candle so I don't know if this was happening at different times I feel like it was happening at the same time all of these things were happening at the same time in different places so I don't know if it was just like one person with a circle tray, one person with a triangle tray, one person with a diamond tray, and they may have all been online or something like that. And they were doing something at the same time. And I don't know how this links into whoever this person is here that wanted you or someone in the collective to be in a third party. This may, be, this may have been part of it. And they were trying to affect someone's health here. And it was it's connected to someone's finances they were trying to make it so that someone's abundance or somebody's connection to abundance was messed up and i had through their sacral chakra because when i said about um when i looked down at these cars with the health and fit fitness i saw a masculine and i literally saw it it was almost like they focused towards the person's groin so i don't know if this person does like it did come out at the start like sensi energy like this person may do sex magic or some sort of like enchantment like sexual sensual kind of i don't know succubus incubus kind of energy um but the candle went out and the candle wasn't supposed to go out the fact that the candle was halfway down as well as telling me this is something this isn't a one-off this is a regular because they were let, they must be letting it burn down they're not sitting around there until the candle's finished. That's not what I was getting. It's like they've been doing this daily. They were doing something daily and it didn't work. It didn't work and it caused a lot of concern. I heard uproar, uproar. Oh my gosh, sorry. You see how my light flickered? Thank you, spirit. No, I was told, I was shown... The three people who were doing this were doing this against this masculine. So while this masculine was doing some sort of love spell or doing something to bind someone in the collective or you, you've got three, and I'm for some reason I get three women. They don't have to be. 
but there's three other energies who are sitting around each with their own little tray who are trying to f this person up that's where the shocking attack comes in but i don't feel like they were just doing something to this person here they may have been trying to do something to you or the someone in the collective which card do you want me to take where you want me to go over there how interesting yeah i want me to go over here but there's nothing here is there oh boom okay it's that one Tell me more about these three. What were they up to? What were they up to? Oh my giddy aunt. The moon and the queen of presents and queen of pentacles. So this is to do with, I don't know if this is like a family. They wanted someone out of the family. Eight of cups in reverse. This is a continued energy. They were continuing to do this. So. The Queen of Presents is the Queen of Pentacles. With it being in reverse, this is trying to take someone's business down or trying to take finances. This is definitely energy harvesting and it connects into this second of, second house, money and work being in reverse, talking about debts and fraud, embezzlement, illegal transactions, losing your job. I don't know if these, these three women or these three feminine energies were trying to get someone to lose their job and I don't know if they were focusing that towards someone in the collective or they were focusing, I heard both. They were trying, they were focusing it towards this masculine as well. Second house, queen of presents. And you've got the eight of potions, which is the eight of cups. Eight of cups is usually about something being so overwhelming that you walk away from it, but be, it being in reverse is either a complete commitment or a continued effort. So this is something that they've been doing for a while, for a while, because under that you've got the moon and you've got the five of needles, which is the five of swords. They were doing this, but I feel like with the moon, this was messing up someone's um, relationship because the moon is about emotions. But I see this more as the moon, the moon kind of... Um, hanging over the fourth house which is to do with your family and cancer so there's definitely been a lot of um a continued effort in some sort of spell work to bring in some sort of conflict especially with the fifth the five of needles a lot of stress and arguments over money I feel like whoever it is, this masculine, because you've got to remember the first card we started off with was attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference, which means if there's a third party interference, there has to be two people to start off with, right? Whoever was in this couple, this masculine and feminine, I'm assuming, if this feminine, I feel like this feminine, um, and we had that card with jealousy come out, this feminine was very, very jealous that this masculine was looking at someone in the collective and was like, not happening. You're getting stabbed in the back. You've been deceiving me. I'm going to deceive you. Watch what I do. And then she, she, I'm only saying she because of the feminine connotations. I had, I'm going to take everything. So while this masculine was trying to like bind someone in the collective to fall in love with them, their other half, their spouse, their whoever was doing stuff to them to mash up their business or take their money and to make sure that their spells didn't work they didn't even realize that they did you a favor you're this stifled board and stuck being in reverse that's it's not saying that if they hadn't have done that that someone in the collective would not have been able to just return that to sender but i feel like it had an extra oomph because whoever this person is that's been sitting around with her two girly girly friends doing this have literally i heard they took the wind out of this person's sails out of this masculine sails that is crazy that is crazy oh my giddy on yeah there's something here also with emotions so the way that we manifest things in and this is my understanding it's not fact but my understanding from my own experience and things that work for me also is when you see that you have something lacking in your life, it could be that you want um, a higher paying job. Let's just say, let's use that back, for example. 
that you want a higher paying job and you've done your you've tried doing manifestations you've tried doing affirmations you've tried doing i don't know bringing in new job spells whatever and nothing's working and you still have that lack and you still have that desire it's for me and my understanding of that is because when you are looking at something that you feel is lacking in your life it's because you have a wound that connects to that 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 associates with that or that all vibrates with that and that is why you're bringing in more lack of that thing in your life the minute that you heal whatever that wound is boom that manifestation comes in because you no longer feel like it's lacking from your life and the universe goes oh it's not lacking oh okay you can have more of that because you are vibrating at that frequency for me to give you more so this here, if you have been trying to manifest in a higher paying job, but you still have a wound when it comes to the, the relationship of receiving abundance because of when you were young, A, B and C happened. The minute that's healed, well, you're going to be open to that and that promotion's going to come in. This, Whoever these three are, they were trying to mess with somebody's um, abundance, but they were doing it through... Um, your sense of health and fitness they were doing it through whatever chakra or place was holding that wound from the past for a b and c someone here has healed this though because the health and fitness is fine but you are being told to continue to focus on that goal when it comes to your health and fitness this is about slowing down now and still being in your feminine for receiving and they were trying to mess this up. They were properly trying to mess this up. I don't even think they realised, these three witchy sisters, whoever they are, I don't think they realised that, one, they helped to stop you you or someone in the collective being bound. And it actually gave room for someone to heal their heart chakra, I heard, and their throat chakra. And these two places may have been affected, as well as the sacral, so it's the, the middle part. Um, as a um, a fallout on whoever this masculine is, it's actually attached back not only whatever love binding they were doing, but also whatever spell work that these three were doing have attached to this masculine when it comes to the law of abundance. Simply because if this person's going broke or this person has that lack in their life, it's because they have major wounding that they have not healed. And that's why they keep attracting in this flipping drama, because they haven't healed from the wound that is attracting drama. So if, you know, if an op is watching and you're wondering why this isn't working or blah, 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 the clear solution for you is to heal what it is that you feel that you're lacking in your life. And then you, the universe will stop providing you with the same flipping lesson over and over and over. You want finances, you want abundance, you want wealth in your life, you want spiritual riches and success. Then you need to heal from the things that make you feel like you're lacking that or that you're not worthy of it. And if you're you know, trying to stab other people in the back to get money, you are not learning the lesson. You are not, you are failing the test every time the universe goes, right, study for your exams. And then you're wondering why you get an F. You want that A, A++, study, do the work. Seriously, do the work. Okay, now let's see what else wants to come out before I do. Let's have a look. Envy in reverse, exactly. Stop being envious of other people. The lesson in here is to stop comparing themselves to someone else because someone is so focused on taking what isn't theirs that they're ignoring all the things that are for them. Just because somebody in the collective is about to get, you know, a massive payout or a big abundance or this or that, it doesn't mean that the person who's trying to steal from them wouldn't have the same thing if they weren't just focusing on themselves. Fearless love and envy. You want to know with this clear solution in reverse what you should be doing? You should be looking at fearless love and not envying other people. Wow, okay. My goodness. Tell me more. What do we need to know? Neptune, the idolization of confuse, confusion regarding and sacrifice. And then the goddess of the moon. So someone here, I feel like these three witchy sisters are also quite confused by why something didn't. They were waiting for some sort of result. They were waiting, yeah, because this are prayers and visualizations are manifesting with sweet memories. And then um, lost the battle, not the war, don't give up yet. These three aren't giving up either. 
because their their abundance is absolutely shite as well or their how they're manifesting in is really bad because these people these three there's something about how they focus on negative energy or negative it's giving me like stranger things when um 11 meets her sister number nine i can't remember or number 12 i can't remember which one what number she is but she um was saying the way that you harness your power the way that you know you get to move massive objects is you've got to think of the times that make you really angry or make you feel really upset and then harness all of that anger and then project it out and that's the energy that i'm getting from these three the rare wondering why the law of abundance isn't working for them is because the law of abundance doesn't work through hate. It doesn't work through low vibrational energies. And if it was working for them before, it wasn't the law of abundance that was working for them. That was something completely different. But the scales, as we know, are tipping back into equilibrium. The, the law of abundance, you want to kind of manifest something. You manifest in what you manifest out, okay? And if you're manifesting out fearless love, that's what you're going to get back. If you're manifesting out pure hate, that's what you're going to get back. They're wondering why whatever they did only affected this person over here but didn't affect you. You are aligned and it's because you're working on yourself. Focus on that goal. That's just all your advice is just to focus on that goal. Focus on yourself. Okay. I've got too many flipping cards, man. I swear. Someone asked me in the comment section a while ago what this deck is. It's an accumulation or it's a mixture of three decks. So I can't actually remember. Otherwise, I put down the name. I think this one is Moon. It's Moonology. Um... Then there is one for the houses and planets. I'm really sorry. I don't remember what that one is called. And there's one other and I can't remember. If I remember the name of the three, I will put them down in the comment section. Okay. Anything else that we need to know before we go, please and thank you. Anything else? Yeah, because look, you've got bride in a cage. And bride in a cage is actually is the love spell card. Okay. Oh, so this masculine has been trying to do a love spell for a while. They've been trying to focus. They've been focusing on that goal for a while. Because they see you in your north node. Or they see someone in their north node. And it says, have faith in. Do not worry about. Now it is the time to. So this person has been trying to bind. Because they, ah, so they may have been waiting. They had a specific time frame in which they had to do this but this person won't give up i think it's almost like they know that they're flogging a dead horse but they're still trying to because you've got walking away upside down yeah they, unfortunately you still have these people trying to attach themselves because there's an awakening coming in masquerade is upside down as well alone in the world is upside down as well there was some sort of illusion that they were trying to place this is all to do with kind of like um manipulating someone's perception of self of self-worth of what it is that they should be inviting in again this is to do with manifestation because when you think and feel and act in a specific way if you tell yourself i will only ever be worthy of love that has certain conditions that have abuse in it for example that the person if they put me down it's not a red flag it's fine they were having a bad day and if they continuously do that that's just the way love is then that person who's saying that is only going to manifest in that type of relationship and there was like an encouragement for this to happen they didn't want someone getting into their north node before they could be there so they could manipulate it so as i said when it comes to this money they get this money or they get this spiritual inheritance or they get this spiritual powers or you know the dance with life there's something here about someone in the collective's energy being i had a pure essence for virility for youth for youth so ah uh, aha uh -huh. i don't know who this is also in um out of these three that have these trays one of them is really aged one of them is really aged and they they're actually young or they're younger than what they actually look like and i heard haiti or barley haiti or barley and I don't know if one of them lives there or is from there or that the energies that they've been working with are from Haiti or Bali. 
But the mask is about to slip off for someone here. Bring love into the situation. Look, you and your loved ones are safe. So their family isn't safe. They were trying to do something to someone's family. How low do you have to go? They want you to do something to someone's family. Maybe now their family is affected by what they've been doing. And I'm hearing someone coughing. I don't know if someone has a cough right now or if this person has issues with their chest. Because you've got intuition here in storm. Okay. And nothing is yet set in stone in reverse but you have storm and intuition it is set in stone you are dodging this your intuition is going to be getting better i had 10 times better pisces spirituality to ultimately experience trusting your psychic knowledge of a uh, resulting from the indecision of or about and journey movement is coming in here nothing is yet set in stone who have they been I want to know who's been bound then, because someone has been bound with nothing yet is set in stone in reverse. Someone has been bound. Who's been bound? Who's bound by this love spell with this eight of potions in reverse? Who is it? Oh, somebody who's very upset because you've got grief coming out and cosmic power. So an inner child with surrender. Didn't we have it come out that they wanted someone to surrender to the situation? So who have they bound it to instead then? Because you've got solar plexus coming out. This is an inner child. And harvest. Mm. A new romantic cycle begins. This person has bound some sort of karmic to them instead. Oh. They've, who have they bound? Who's the karmic person that they've bound to themselves? Temple path. Indecision. They thought that they were binding. There's something here about thinking they were binding themselves to you. But they bound themselves to someone else. Who was in a false light? Stop it. So whatever was going on in the darkness when you got these three women or feminine energy sitting around with these candles and the candles went out i don't know if they were trying to send something towards you or someone in a collective they messed each other's um they messed each other's spell work up that's crazy i feel like they messed they kind of, they didn't cancel each other out but they messed each other up and something went askew with this person's love spell. It attached to a false light. Because you've got here adjacent possibilities upside down. So that's a definite. It, this definitely happened. Okay. It's, oh my gosh. They definitely attached something to their own family as well when it comes to debt. You have indecision. And you have temple path. So those two together. This energy... Or whatever the direction was of this energy that was being sent out by this spell. Rather than it going towards you, it went towards a false light. I feel like they bound each other. That's crazy, right? Because whoever this masculine energy is with or was with that's now in separation. That person is jealous of your light. And copycat. We've had copycat energy coming out so many times. So they bound themselves to each other. Or it strengthened some sort of like contract they had with each other. Wow. And that's their lesson. Look, you've got Saturn coming out. The maturity that brings caution regarding and limits imposed. That's their life lesson. Stop it. Alchemy. That's what they have to heal through. Oh my giddy art. And you've got blossoming abundance in reverse. Why are they all stuck together? Oh, they really are stuck together. What is going in here? I get coffee on them. Ah, ew. Six chakra, archangel, metatron, and blossoming abundance. And I don't know yet because we've got sacred lust coming out. You then have a uh, six chakra, archangel, metatron, and blossoming abundance. So you have somebody in this this trio, and the masculine have bound themselves. Well, wasn't that foolish? And they've bound themselves to lack absolute lack they lost that battle and they did it through some sort of scx magic gross 
and that is the truth <laughs> And that is the flipping truth. And you know what I heard, though, when I was saying, oh, my gosh, they found each other? I heard Oprah. And, you know, Oprah goes, and you can have some money, and you can have some money. I didn't hear that. I, I heard, and you can have that magic, and you can have that magic, and you can have that magic. And it's almost like you can F off, and you can F off, and you can F off. They've just been dished out what they were trying to dish towards you or someone in the collective. And you've got rage in reverse, You've also got um, Colourless Angel in reverse, and then you have It's Time to Take Action. So there's something that someone here is being asked to heal, and it's taking me back again to the health and fitness and focus on that goal, okay? So this could be to do with Sacral Chakra. We have a lot of red and orange here. Colourless Angel in reverse. Colourless Angel in reverse is actually looking at, um, maybe it's our perception of what we thought um about ourselves or it's almost like because when you think of a colorless angel that's somebody who is not an angel that's a fallen angel that is you know disgraceful or low vibrational energy with it being upside down this is releasing some sort of uh bias that someone may have had or there may be an attachment of some sort that you're being asked to cleanse away and look as you've got it takes um it's time to take action this is new moon and aries so this could be a root chakra so we may need to do some grounding some cleansing joy okay when it comes to childhood and they were trying to attach something through childhood it didn't work however this does point to what it is that you're being asked to look at okay meditate contemplate this upside down so one may just need to sleep a lot more anything else that would like to come out before i go Oh, hello. A new start is coming. These people are done. All right. Even though it says on here, lost the battle, not the war, don't give up yet. They're going to keep trying, but they're not going to get the um the results they were expecting. Okay. They're not. Second chakra, Archangel Ariel. This could be family. It doesn't have to be. But you have sacral chakra and you have groundings. So again, this is your root. And this is your sacral chakra. These are the two. And look, adjustments are required, but it's in reverse. So these are the places that they're, it's almost like you're being given a heads up. These are the two areas that they keep trying to attack. So it's not even saying that these are the ones that need to be realigned. Because remember, we had that card saying, take some time to focus on these areas, get aligned, and they were in reverse. It's literally saying you are so aligned. Those areas are so lit up. They are lit AF. However, you are being told these are the areas that they're trying to send towards you. So just spend a little bit more time on grounding, on working through, you know, your your womb healing and seed healing and whatever that may be through dance or painting or running or swimming. Continue doing those things, okay? Because it's working for you. It really, really is. And adjustments aren't required when it comes to healing or cleansing those. But keeping them strong is always a good thing, isn't it? All right, and you've got faith to suffer upside down. Okay, okay. Now, can we have houses, planets, any areas you would like the collective to look at? The placement of Neptune in your chart explains your psychic intuition and how you dream. We did have the energy coming up that someone's psychic abilities were about to get better or stronger, and that your intuition was going to get stronger. So, pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. I feel like a message is going to be coming through. Those born under cancer are highly sensitive, intuitive, intuition coming through again, you guys, and emotional. They are also prone to moodiness and protecting their feelings under a hard exterior. So right here, and then you've got the moon underneath. Oh my gosh. And for those who are going, well, what's the connection? Cancer is ruled by the moon. And then you have dream placements here talking about your intuition and almost it's talking about your intuition is also your sense of feeling. OK, so you also have the placement of the moon in your chart will reveal a lot about your habits, reactions, instincts and how you express your emotions. So pay attention to your dreams. I heard for the next 15 days and then you've got cancer. Oh, my gosh, so much cancer energy coming through the next 15 days. Pay attention to your dreams. You've got Venus coming out. You guys, there's some sort of message coming through about either heart space healing, about a love coming in, or it may just be a loved one that is trying to get in contact with you. So there is your Neptune one. Maybe even check where Neptune is in your birth chart because it will tell you, like it says on there, it will explain your psychic intuition and how you dream. Someone needs a dream journal here. 
because you've definitely got either a family member there's definitely a family member that wants to come through and tell you something And then you also have, yeah, the moon and Venus. Venus is the planet of love and material possessions. Where it is in your chart can help identify how you are influenced in matters of the heart. So you know what as well? You may have a family member that wants to come through dream time to tell you about some of the effery that this person is trying to do or these three witchy sisters are trying to are going to try and do. Because with this, they've lost the battle, but not the war. Don't give up just yet. They're going to try again. It doesn't mean that they're going to actually be able to but it's nice to have a heads up from our ancestors or from our guides going by the way so and so and so is going to do this on this day so just wear you know wear a rain jacket or they're going to do this this and this put your headphones in whatever that may be all right especially when it comes to any other type of um why do i keep someone's ancestors wants me to swear and i'm not going to but they're saying whatever effery this person's going to try and do uh, when your astrological information is added to your birth chart, you will see a series of interconnecting lines, numbers and symbols representing the star signs. So someone's trying to read your birth chart, a Taurus maybe, or they're trying to read, um, it's to do with your finances. Someone here is questioning your money. Could be an Aries that's questioning your money. I'm going to leave it there. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated for you and you'd like to see more and when I post, I would love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see just that. And if you are a returning subscriber, hearts, kisses, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being here, Soul Family. Please know everyone that I am not doing any, per I'm not taking any personal readings at the moment. Anyone reaching out to you in the comment sections is a scammer okay please do not get fooled please do not get scammed just block and report them i will be opening up my readings again i haven't made my mind up if it's going to be mid-january or the end of january but i will let you guys know okay and i will be going on a first a first term first um a first come first serve basis that's the one i will be getting in contact with the people that have already emailed me from about mid-January okay so if you are interested in having a reading from mid-January onwards just email me and you will go into the list if you do not hear from me straight away that is because I am slowly going through the list okay um prices I can give you prices um when you email me but with that being said I love you guys I'll see you later bye bye